What's up guys, this is Nock V. In this part of the full track production series, we're going to be going over the outro as well as some minor mixing and mastering techniques. Now I hate to say this again, but I did screw up and lost all the footage I recorded of actually doing the outro. So once again, I'm just going to give an overview of all the different outro elements and what it takes to put that together. So when we last looked at this track, we finished it off about here. Okay, so let's mute everything and then start bringing each element in one by one. So the kick is pretty basic, same as the intro. We split the outro out into two different sections, two 16 bar sections to make a total of 32 bars. And we'll talk a bit later as to why that particular structure exists. And then we'll take a look at the bass. Now with the bass, we shorten the clip down to just the first note of the bass line. In fact, any element we bring in from previously, we just use the first bar of. And the reason behind this is because the outro isn't intended to be as melodically complex as the rest of it. By keeping it simple, we allow more room for DJs to use this area to bring in a new track. Now something you might have seen just before is a little automation clip that we have on an EQ over the bass. That automation clip enables this band passing EQ over the last 16 bars of the outro. This in a way symbolizes a de facto area for DJs to bring in the bass elements of the track that they're mixing into. Now this isn't a hard and fast rule. There are a lot of DJs out there that bring in tracks a little bit more creatively than that. So moving on, we have a row for some fills. Then we have our claps. Some crashes. And some effects. And then a snare and some hats. Now you can see in the structure that we kind of gradually remove these elements as the outro goes on. And here we have a couple of fade-ins to sort of separate the first and second phases of the outro. And here we have a loop and a little melodic section that we have from previously in the track. Now let's hear the outro in its entirety. Now I've forgotten a lot of the tweaks that I've made to this project, but this one in particular, I do remember. So let's take a quick look at this vocal effect. So what I've done there is I've cloned the vocal clip twice, and then with one of them, I've pitched it down 1200 cents, which is a full octave, and then with the other I've pitched it up 1200 cents. And I've kind of moved them over to the right just so that they, they occupy the space in between each of the phrases. And then I've kind of chopped them up and disabled certain clips just so that they interleave between high and low. Okay, so now let's move on to some mix down stuff. Over Black Friday, Vengeance Sound had a half off deal on some of their plugins, so I managed to pick up the Vengeance Multiband Compressor. Now, I know this plugin has a bit of hype in the hardcore community because a few big name producers use it like Gamma, Stonebank, and Technicor. Both Technicor and Stonebank have tutorials where they show how to use this plugin over their leads, and they use a very specific preset that's included in Vengeance Multiband Compressor. So I've used it before, and I do think it does a really good job on leads. So I'm going to add that to our leads here and try to spice things up a little bit. So I've added the Multiband Compressor. 
I've selected the Dance Master 2 Master preset, and I've also turned the mix level down a bit because I don't want to hear 100% of the effect of it. Now I'm going to turn it off and play it and then sort of turn it back on and off so we can hear a comparison of the sound. Now, I don't know if this is placebo or not, but I think it really does kind of bring the sound up and make it a lot more brighter as well. So now let's talk about mastering the track as a whole. Recently, I've been doing a lot of experimenting on mastering effects and trying to figure out how to make things as loud as possible. And I know some people watching this might you know, hate the idea of the loudness wars, but for me personally, when I do referencing and I compare my tracks to other people's tracks and if they don't sound as loud as others it kind of makes my track sound weak in comparison so I'm going to go over what I use in my master chain now and how I use them to get a decent level of loudness now first up is some just some basic EQ um, most of the time I'm just rolling off uh, anything under 20 hertz and anything above like I don't know, 15 to 17 k hertz so next up I use Ozone's multi-band stereo imaging tool. Um, so pretty much what I do is I completely mono out everything under like 200 hertz because it really is kind of an uncomfortable experience to have like wide stereo stuff in frequencies that low. Then we have a fruity balance and all we're doing with that is just some gain control so that we can say automate that gain and just mute the track out towards the end, for example. Then I have Oxford Inflator. I'm not doing a lot of that. I'm not going to really show it because all I'm doing is just increasing the saturation a bit to sort of bring up some harmonics that create some extra loudness. Then we have that going into Vengeance Multiband Compressor again. I have this at Dance Master 2 again, but I'm only mixing in like 20% of the signal, if that. Then all of that goes into Newfangled Elevate. This is pretty much the maximizing step and I have that cranked up way high. I pretty much push that up until I get any kind of audible distortion. And that's really it. So let's have a listen to how this whole thing sounds.
right, so there it is. I think there's still a bit of work to do left on this. Um, I think I want to maybe change the vocals a bit. But that's all for another video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe. If you want to support me and the stuff that I do, check out the Patreon link in the description below. I also have a Discord, so if you want to come hang out and talk music, check out the link in the description for that too. Take care everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video.